Good morning students and friends. Today we will discuss about the introduction to DBMS. Before discussing about the introduction to DBMS, I want to tell how far the DBMS course is important for any competitive exams like GATE, UGC, NET. Because a lot of people are asked me that, Sir, shall I study the DBMS? Because I, I know the DBMS, but I'm really confused with the few concepts like uh, 3NF, BCNF, file management, especially the B tree insertion deletion, B plus tree insertion deletion, all these things people are used to ask me. But I used to tell them that you study well, okay? And this is very, very important subject. And why it is important that usually minimum marks they will give six marks and maximum it will go up to 10 marks they will give. And up average people will say that it will give as eight marks in a gate exam. So minimum is six marks. Average is 8 marks you every year they will give and sometimes maximum it will go for 10 marks. For gate 21 they are predicting that minimum is 6 marks and maximum is 11 marks. So if 11 marks were given so you can understand the importance of the DBMS subject. Okay. So then people are asking started asking me sir which videos I have to follow because I am follow I mean so I am checking so many videos in the web. But I am not getting that much uh, confidence in the DBMS course. I am understanding the concept, but I am not getting the confidence in the problem solving. Because in gate exam, before you are going for writing the gate exam, you should have the confidence on every subject. Okay, not every subject, but whatever the subjects you have studied, you should have hundred percent confidence. Because why I am saying that confidence is very important, but gate has a negative marking. If you does not have confidence on yourself, then you will confuse yourself in while writing the exam and maybe you will lose so many marks for negative marks. Okay, because if you score one mark and if you uh, crawl means if you like you answered wrong one for two questions, then you lost point for, means half of the mark you lost. So one question you have answered correctly and two questions you have un correct, I mean, answered a wrong way, then you will lose negative marks and whatever the marks you have gained it will be like normalized so i want to say that the confidence is important so to make you to confident that in this video's lecture what i have done i have explained each concept then i have given few numerical questions examples like example one example two like that i have done then i have taken one gate one or two gate questions related to that concept so that why it is important that you first you will understand the concept maybe theory you can understand but whether you can solve the problems or not i have checked so how it is i have taken one example okay if you really understand the concept you pause the video okay and then you solve by yourself without watching my video if you can solve it completely that is well good okay and if you cannot able to solve it, yeah, you watch the entire example one properly. Then come to the example two or numerical problem two. Again, you pause the video. You try to solve by yourself. If you do, do it, then I am a very happy person because if you can do this example two, then I can understand that you have understood the concept and also example one properly. If you cannot solve it, no problem. Watch my video again and then you will understand the example to us. Then I have taken few gate questions related to that concept. Why I have taken is that if you can solve the gate question by yourself, then you will get the confidence. Okay, I understood the concept. I have can I able to understand the example one and example two. And these kind of questions they will have asked in gate previous years. And I am able to solve. If you can able to solve the gate previous questions, that is very well. Okay, very good by yourself. You are doing you are in the right track i can say okay so the thing is that if you cannot solve it one gate question no problem you can solve it second question third question like that you can track this okay so that's why i have planned the videos in this way and coming to the introduction to the dbms course people will say that what is a data data is uh, is a raw entity okay or unorganized entity people will say Okay, whereas information people will say that it is a meaningful data. Okay, or it is a processed data, we will call it as an information. But when it comes to this course, what is a data? Data is a fact that is recorded or stored. 
is it clear data is a fact that is recorded or stored why i am calling that it is a fact or a fact that is recorded or stored because if i say that student table okay let's say that we have a student table i there is a student id student name student mark student location something information is there now student id his roll number his name all these things are the facts see when i am entering his name that is his name why he has informed me so that's why i have stored so it is a fact that is recorded in the database so i can say that data is a fact that is recorded or stored now you can ask me what is a database okay database is a collection of data okay or i can say that it is a collection of related data meaning is that if you say that database of a student then it is a collection of students information okay our database about the faculty it is a collection of information of a faculty only there you will not find any other information so that's why i should say that it is a collection of related data is it clear now what is meant by database management system it is a set of programs it is a set of programs to create the database to define the database and to modify the database if you want to do anything on the database first you need to create the database and then you have can sometimes if you want to modify you can modify the database so all these things you have to do but these things we should not depend on the operating system completely is it clear so that's why people have designed a database management system we will call it as it is a set of programs to manage the database okay like create define and manip means may, may modification all these things can be done by database system so we can call it as database management system is a software to manage the database okay so i hope you have understood what is a data what is a database and what is the database management system the examples for database management system is we have sql okay we have db2 all these things are an examples for database management system so with this one i will stop this video i hope you have understood the concept if you have not to understand the concept properly go through the video again i am damn sure that you will understand the concepts okay thank you so much